Okay everybody, we're going to start a little video here on motorcycle gear, and by gear we mean gear that you wear to protect yourself if you fall or get knocked off a motorcycle. Um, a motorcycle jacket is not just a regular jacket. A motorcycle jacket has pads in it. You can't see them, but there's a big pad here. They're kind of like football pads. If you were to be playing football, you wear these pads. Um, it's They're pretty hard and they help protect you from an impact. Um, there's also one here that covers the elbow, as I'm filming the carpet because I'm an idiot, um, and goes all the way down here to the wrist and all the way here. So all of this is protected with a big pad, big hard pad here, and they're just like football pads, like I say. Anyway, um, we're going to go over some of the main motorcycle jackets that you can choose from, and I'm trying to do this so you can see that you can get a decent protection without really breaking the bank. And that's really important when you're first getting riding because there's a lot of money to outlay in the beginning. First off, I suggest going with gear that's neutral. Neutral being that if you color code it, like if you have a blue bike and you get blue jacket, blue gloves, and blue helmet, that's great and all, but then you end up with... If you buy another bike later on to replace it, to upgrade, it's a totally different color and you look like an idiot. So, <clears throat> I would get a neutral color. Although, it is very important to try to be seen as well as, as we can because, of course, we know cars never see us. So, um, that's what this is, too. This is a reflective, glows-in-the-dark material that goes all the way around. And Anyway... The first type of jacket is a mesh jacket, and it basically is made of a material that looks just like this. It's perforated, it's just a bunch of holes, that's very great, keeps you cool, for cool climates anyway, or, um, excuse me, god, I'm stupid, uh, for warm climates that I, obviously, if the whole jacket's made like this, it's going to be much cooler. Uh, however, Obviously, if your jacket's made of material with little holes all the way through it, it's going to rip much easier because part of the protection of a jacket is as you're skidding along the pavement, it's protecting your skin from that pavement. And even if you don't think you're going to skid for a long ways, and you can, uh, some idiot knocks you off their off your bike because they're not paying attention, they're on the phone, or you slip on gravel or whatever, you will slide. And your skin is no match for pavement. Um, so this rips much easier. This is actually a vent on my jacket. Um, so even when the vent's open, it's not really, you're not losing any protection. But anyway, um, the second type of protective jacket is what I've got here, which is textile. The material's textile. And obviously that's much rougher and much harder to tear than a jacket made like that of a bunch of little holes. However, it is warmer. Um, it's going to be a warmer jacket. So in a warmer climate, you're going to be warmer, which is why I like the particular jacket I got. It's got a bunch of vents like this. Here's the sleeve vent, and you can see it's pretty closed as you're going along, but it does allow air through. And then there's vents here on the top, uh, front. There's one there and one on the other side. Obviously there's another one on the sleeve. And then there's a big vent in the back too. These unzip and, and allow air through the whole. So the jacket has a lot of vents in it which allows it to cool. I should also mention that uh, this jacket has foam uh, back protection here. These, and then there's a big pad here, big old foam pad to help protect your back. Um, some jackets come with much more protection. They'll have even big pads on the outside, these big hard pads on the outside even of your shoulders and your wrist, um, or elbow I mean, excuse me, um, to protect you even more. And, and of course, that's Oops. That's better. It's better to have more protection, but you have to remember it's going to cost you a lot more. And that's the whole deal. This is a textile jacket. The next level up would be a leather jacket. 
and a leather jacket will have all of these features plus it'll have leather which leather will even rip will not rip as easy as textile so that's even more protective but it is even warmer than a textile jacket obviously so each st uh, each level of protection you're getting warmer and warmer um, Plus, the price on a leather jacket is a lot. I mean, you're talking about a lot of money. The more protection you get, obviously, the more money you're going to end up spending. Um, this particular jacket is a great deal, though. It's a, uh, it was $80 from uh, Bob's Cycle Supply. And uh, it's, uh, that's a really nice deal. Um, you get a lot of venting. It's textile, so it's kind of middle of the road. It's got all the pads. Uh, you can get better back protection. You can, um, on some jackets, they have much better back pads and stuff than this one. But again, this is pretty well middle of the road kind of protection, which I like because it's not too hot. It's definitely not expensive. It's comfortable. Uh, it has a removable liner so that in colder days, I can put a liner in it. Um, and it didn't break my bank, so um, it's it's got a lot of pockets um, and pretty good deal. So what I'm trying to show you here is you can get some decent protection without really breaking the bank. Um, now, obviously, a leather jacket, a leather motorcycle jacket, would be much better. It would have the leather and it would have the pads to it. Do not let the Harley riders tell you that just any old leather jacket is right because a regular leather jacket is not a motorcycle jacket. It has no padding. Not going to protect you in a fall other than skidding. And um, you need to uh, trust me, yeah, um, if you get hit by a 60 mile an hour vehicle, these pads, a friend of mine has always said, yeah, those pads aren't going to do you any good. Well, maybe not, but they might at least make the injuries less. And I would rather have less injury than more. I don't know. That just seems logical to me. Anyway, um, that's really brief overview. And if you have any questions, please. Uh, oh, I should say, too, this is very adjustable. The bottom and uh, the top. You want your motorcycle jacket to fit fairly snug. And it's nice to have. You see the sleeves are very adjustable. Um, so that I can put a jacket on under it and let the jacket out a little bit and then it'll still fit. Um, but yet I can tighten it up and make it fit pretty good. So um, it's good to good to try on your gear too if you can. If you're going to order it, um, try to order it from a good company that's good about returns. But it's better to go out and try it on because then you know it fits right because one size for one manufacturer doesn't mean it's going to fit in another manufacturer um, within the same size because you know we all know that's the same in any kind of clothes but anyway if you have any questions please please post or send a message I'd be happy to